Hello guys, welcome back to my channel, Plus Size in Canada. My name is Miranda and we're on our way to Costco. We're on the highway um, and while we were driving, I saw a little accident happen on the other side of the highway. I don't think anyone is hurt, but um, it kicked up a lot of dirt. Oh, Curtis is over there. So Curtis is a first responder. He's a paramedic and he's a firefighter. So of course we pulled right over and he's going over to check Make sure everybody's okay. It looks like everybody's okay. We did see both the drivers get out. They're both driving trucks. Um, they both got out of their vehicle. So and we figured everything was fine, but, and actually it was kind of funny cause like we're on the side of the highway. And I said to Curtis, like, go ahead, but just look both ways. <laughs> and he shut the door and started walking. Then he came back and opened the door and said, both ways because it's a divided highway. So. <laughs> I don't think he needed to look both ways. All good? Yeah. What the heck happened? They ran into each other. How does one do that on a divided highway? Oh. Say that again for the people who want to know. When you're going that speed, what did you say? You're lucky. They're lucky they didn't roll it. Yeah. Because they hit at high speed and we saw them kind of spin around on the highway yeah. and they didn't roll. Dirt rocks what caught my attention way. was the dirt. Like all of a sudden, there's this just like giant plume of dirt. Yeah, someone took the shoulder. Yeah, and yeah. then I saw Buddy in the nicer truck there, kind of go around and do a little floop de do, but he didn't. He didn't do a flip de dip. Just a floop de do. Those are safer. Are these the exact terms you use when you're on the fire department? Yeah. Or uh, well, I write that in my, in my uh, patient care. Report. Yeah. <laughs> he did a floop de do. Upon arrival, patient. <laughs> Uh, had just done a flip de do uh, with a seatbelt on, no injuries. Ooh, wow. <laughs> what, Skyler? That was a very dumb conversation. <laughs> <laughs> we made it to Costco. Curtis is just putting some gas in the Jeep because this baby's about to go to Woodstock. We are getting ready for camping. We are gonna go into Costco. We're not gonna really plan for next week. We're pretty much just gonna buy for the weekend and I'll probably plan on coming next week to get groceries for the whole week. I'm actually hoping they have some lawn chairs in there because I would also like to pick up a few of those. Um, but you know how it goes, things sell out quickly. So if I missed it, then they're gone. But uh, you never know, maybe I'll find something fun. I'm in a fun mood right now. I feel fun. Do I look fun, Skylar? Am I fun to you? Sure. <laughs> we played some pretty crappy music on the way here. Though. Listen, they were hating on my 90s jams, okay? A lot of it's terrible. <laughs> you played out of all those songs, there was one good song. The thong song? No, Oh. <laughs> not even that one. <laughs> What's the one that you like? Ice Ice Baby. Oh, Ice Ice Baby, yes. You don't like my thong, da thong, thong, thong. No, I don't. Why would I like your thong? <laughs> Might hear a little sound, a little noise because Skylar is helping me 
um, get our new chairs out of the packages so we can put them in the trailer. Um, you may notice that while we were in Costco, um, we did have four lawn chairs in a cart at one point, and then mysteriously, we had three. Well, that's because <laughs> my husband decided he didn't want a new chair, that our old chairs were just good enough for him, even though if you watched our last camping vlog, there was an accident where my fatness broke the chair, okay? <laughs> so we needed new chairs. Um, those ones we've had for three years, um, they were good quality. It's just, we use them a lot. And when you get to a certain size and you slam your body down in a chair, sometimes your body just keeps going down and doesn't stay held up by the chair. And that's what happened to me. So now we have these beautiful timber. <laughs> get it? Timber. Yes, okay. And they have this little table. So you can put your snacks and your drinks and all of that. And they're big and luscious and can handle all of my sexiness in one chair. <laughs> so these new chairs are gonna be for me, Skylar and Cooper. And Curtis is gonna have the old chair because that's what he wanted. If you watched my latest Walmart haul, you'll see that I also bought Winnie a new chair. She wanted a bigger chair. Um, this chair is way too big for Winnie. She actually really should still be in the kid size, um, but her friend that we camp with often, who we're not camping with, the, with this weekend because we're camping with my sister and her family. Um, anyways, she's a little bit older than Winnie and she just upgraded to a bigger chair. So Winnie decided she needed a bigger chair too. So fine, got her the bigger chair, um, got the boys the bigger chair, and uh, <laughs> not gonna say that Curtis is gonna wish he had got a bigger chair, but Curtis is gonna wish he had a bigger chair. <laughs> I actually told him while we were in the store, I was like, fine, you don't need to get one if you don't want one, even though like we picked it up for him when he wasn't in the store yet um because he was dealing with the propane outside of costco if you know how that works um anyways when he came in he's like why are we getting four we don't need four and i was like well i thought the boys could have a new one too and curtis and i had talked about getting us new ones and because i decided that i wanted to get the boys a new one as well then he miraculously decided yeah i don't want one so that's fine i mean that's <laughs> it's fine i did tell him well if you don't get one now i'm just gonna get it for you for father's day and then, so then he left it in the cart. And then while we were going further on, he kept talking about not wanting the chair, talking and talking and talking. And I was like, fine, you know what? You don't deserve the chair. <laughs> Go put it back then. So then he did. And that's how you argue when you've been together for 17 years, okay? <laughs> you like that chair? <laughs> it's a nice chair. It's a nice chair, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. I'll probably borrow it a couple times. Yeah. But I'm telling you, I like the whole one. As well. I'm sitting in my throne. SpongeBob! Stop! I'm sitting in my throne and I love it. And we spent just a, a nice number. I was guessing 500. We spent 466, so we got it on a deal. Okay? <laughs> Is that how deals work? That's not how it works. You look pretty comfortable over there. Oh, stop. <laughs> I didn't want one. So normally when I do a Costco haul, what I do is I go through my receipt and write down everything that I spent on every single thing that I got. Because I'm in an actual rush today, I'm not gonna do that because that does take, I know it shouldn't take that long, but maybe it's the dyslexia. I don't know, but it does take me a long time to actually like read the receipt and write everything down. So what I'm gonna give you today is Miranda trying to give her best guesstimate. And I think I'm usually pretty good at it. And because I've been shopping at Costco now for almost a full year, um, I'm getting pretty good with the prices. Um, there are some things we didn't pick up, but I know I'm gonna be going grocery shopping again um, next week. So I do it every week. <laughs> that too. <laughs> you know? On the chair? You know? <laughs> So the first thing we saw was Skylar and I seeing it together. Um, these Adidas shorts for $18.99 and that's actually a really good deal. And they have pockets and they're zipperable. So love 
Curtis, do you want to hold up the pair that I picked out for you? Curtis got the best color because it's Father's Day and he deserved, really? He deserved the first choice and I knew he would like that color the best. I do. Wow, look, <laughs> bring it around town. <laughs> nice, eh? Oh, I like it. Yeah, perfect. That's how I always wear them. That's exactly how you should wear them. Once you're going to watch me take off. Oh, I've seen that before. <laughs> so Cooper got these ones, the navy and red, and then Skylar got the gray and dark blue, which I think these are really nice, and Cooper's going to be surprised and happy. To start off the guesstimations, we got Kirkland Bath Tissue, also known as Ass Wipe, also known as TP, and also known as Toilet Paper, if you don't understand any of the other things I just said. Um, that was for a certain amount of money. I'm thinking like... $18.99 ish. Um, the cashmere stuff is on sale right now at Costco, but um, this is still the better price because Curtis did the math thing, you know, when you like count the rolls and how much it's costing and blah, blah, blah. Anyways, got some all dressed up chips. We're going to put these right in the trailer. Also, some of these babies, Ruffles, Natchiel, regular, plain. These are friggin' good, by the way. Get yourself a burger, get yourself a handful of chips, little dill pickle. You're golden. Love it. Um, I got these for me. They were $5.99, I believe. I've been wanting to grab these for a while. I actually saw them at Walmart the other day, and they were like four something for a small bag. And I was like, I guarantee you that's a better deal at Costco. And I'm totally right. 773 grams. Whoop. Hold on. 737 grams. Thanks, dyslexia. You're beautiful. Um, yeah. And that's a better deal at $5.99. Love it. Speaking of burgers. We're not going to bring this whole pack. Um, oh, dang it. I played that game today where I make two lists to take to town with me. Didn't look at one of them. <laughs> and what was on my list? Ziploc bags. Large. We have a few left. So good. But hopefully I don't need too many. <laughs> Somebody wanted a cuddle. He gets stressed out when we're packing. But... He knows he comes with us, so I don't know why. He thinks we're going to leave him. That's what I think he's thinking. Can you think what your dog thinks? Huh? I love you. <laughs> so I think we'll probably just bring like half the pack. We'll probably only do those for one meal. Um, of course, got to get that ketchup. Oh, this was $23.99. I'm guessing. <laughs> and this was $7.99, Curtis told me. Um, these were not on sale today. Um, the last time they were on a great deal but today they're back at the regular price of $4.99 which is still a great deal if you're shopping anywhere else Costco does have the best prices you will notice um something happened to these buns it was called Gatorade <laughs> it slipped while we were driving our jeep was completely jam packed and Curtis packed it and I'm not going to complain because he did the best he could. But some things were not placed correctly. We'll just say that. Um, $7.99 for two chickens. I am going to de-meat these. Put them in those handy-dandy Ziploc bags that I hope I'm going to have enough of. And we're going to take it camping. Um, this actually works so good to put in the freezer and take out and then toss in your frying pan. It makes for excellent chicken. And you can have it any way you want. Nachos, fajitas however else you eat chicken. <laughs> um, got some strawberries. Also, I'm planning on washing these and cutting them up so we can have them probably for the drive and maybe tomorrow morning and then they'll be all gone. Um, these were on sale for $9.99. Um, I don't know if I like this brand yet because I bought some chicken nuggets last week and I got a couple comments saying they weren't very good I'm hoping that they'll be good enough um, because now I bought another thing from this brand, Crispy Chicken Burger. We're going to take this camping. We got enough buns. Um, I got this for the first time. I don't know if I just noticed it or if it's a new thing. Um, two big packs of sliced pepperoni. Um, this was just under 10 bucks, but like there's a lot of pepperoni in there. And I don't know why, but pepperoni's getting stupid expensive. Oh, it's frustrating. Um, these were on sale for $9.99, bacon and Swiss. Skylar really wanted to try these, so we're going to try them this weekend on the campfire. Hopefully, if we're allowed to have one. It might be a no-burn weekend. We're not sure, but we're going to see. Maybe hope it rains just a little bit on our drive there, and then we can maybe have a campfire tonight. Um, we got this, the classic trio 
which Skylar and Cooper really like, and I really don't like it, so don't tell them. <laughs> I mean, I would eat it, but I don't like the flavor or the taste. This meat just isn't for me. It's, it's a little weird. I don't know. It takes on a weird flavor, but I would prefer a cold cut sub, so maybe... Yeah, maybe I'll do that. Um, we got some shredded cheese, double pack. Can't remember, maybe $14.99, little guesstimate. I think these were $3.99. We got one, two, three, four packages of English muffins. We're planning on taking some of these with us because I'm gonna make some breakfast sandwiches in the trailer. Um, here's some sub buns to go with the sub meats. And again, attacked by the Gatorade was this package of donuts which are delicious and Curtis cooks them over the campfire. So I hope we can do that. Um, and also, <laughs> okay, it got attacked. This actually ripped completely open and it completely smushed. <laughs> I think somebody smells the chicken. Do you smell the chicken, honey? Look at those begging eyes. Do you smell something really yummy? That's chicken. Does mommy always give you some? Yes, I do, huh? Yes, I do. Oh, he's going to lift his paw up. When he wants something, he'll lift his paw up and just, yeah, there it is. <laughs> Look, just like a kid. What do you smell, sweetheart? Oh, my goodness. I love you, Jassy. Oh, he's such a good boy. <laughs> Did you hear that? He's sucking. He really doesn't want me to forget about him. I never would. You don't let me forget about you, buddy. <laughs> we got another giant pack of freezies. There are 70 in here, and I think we only paid $12.99 for it. And then, of course, you already know, we needed it. We needed the Coke, $12.99. Um, we got two cases of water, $4.99 each, and Skylar picked up the Gatorade. I'm guessing it was like 17-ish. And there you go. That's called $466 gone in the blink of an eye. And then also, let me tell you, guys, I got my first Costco ice cream in six years, seven years, eight years. I used to go to Costco all the time, um, but then my anxiety got a lot worse and Costco became like a really, really scary thing for me so i couldn't do it anymore the last time i went was when i was pregnant for winnie and then last summer i got the courage and the strength and the medication <laughs> to be able to try and go back to costco and honestly i think i've gone at least every other week if not every week since then so i am absolutely saving money my kids i love them they cost me so much money, so much money. Listen, the other day I came up for my bedroom, which is over there um, in the basement. Well, we have two basements. Our house is confusing, we added on. Anyways, um, <laughs> I came upstairs for my bedroom and saw Skylar standing at the refrigerator with it open. He's standing there in his underwear, okay? Like no t-shirt, no shorts, just underwear, standing there um with the light of the refrigerator like glistening on him and he's got a ziploc bag open and a raw hot dog stuck in his mouth i kid you not and i looked at him and i was like oh skylar this is just not cute and then he took his hot dog literally and went like this to me and got the hot dog juice on me <laughs> What did you say? Sucks to suck. Sucks to suck? Okay. Oh, you see you're working hard at school there. Oh, yeah. Everybody's painting right now. Oh, right. Painting. You want to tell our friends what they're painting? Oh, uh, the sidewalk by our school rainbow flag. Yeah. It was, tra was it called Transphobia Week last week? Transphobia uh, and Homophobia. There was a day a couple weeks ago. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And they painted a uh, bench and then somebody spray painted it. Yeah. And then yeah. they spray painted it all black. Losers. So you guys repainted it, right? Yeah. Awesome. That's what we were doing yesterday, second period. Good. Honestly, I think school could be over anytime. <laughs> I don't think they're getting a lot of work done um, because it's just they're trying to wrap things up. And I think everybody's ready, especially after this week with the heat and having to close the schools twice because it was too hot out. 
I think that's a sign of like, let's just, let's just call it quits. Like, let's let the teachers go home because I didn't know this. Okay. This blew my mind. Um, the second day. So the first day they ended up closing, um, early and it was like an emergency shutdown because they didn't plan it. Um, I think enough parents like called the school and complained or, or the district and complained. And I had already been talking to my kids, teachers telling them I was going to pick them up early. Um, or if they felt sick to tell me and I would come get them anytime. Um, anyways, I didn't know this until the second day when I went to go pick up Winnie and Addie from school and the way that they bring the kids out from school is, um, they stay in a lineup behind their teacher and their teacher makes sure that the, every kid gets to their person or their bus, wherever they're going. Um, and she said, well, at least I can turn the fan on now when I was picking up the girls because they're not even allowed to use the fan. They don't have air conditioning and they're not even allowed to use the fan because of COVID. It blows my flipping mind, blows my mind. And I was like, what do you mean now you can use the fan? You're not staying here all day, are you? And she's like, yeah, the teachers still have to stay till school is out. And I'm like, you guys have to, like, I couldn't believe it. I, like, so the teachers still had to stay there in like plus 42 degrees Celsius. That's crazy. That's crazy. If the kids have to go home because it's too hot, how is it still safe for the staff to stay there? Blows my mind. Curtis just got the Jeep hitched up. So we're going to load everything into the trailer and it's almost time to go pick up Winnie from school. And then it will be almost time to pick up Cooper from nice school. And then it's time to get the frig out of here. Look who I picked up. Want to say hi, Addy? Hi. hi. Say hi, Win. Hi. The sun. I wanted to show you, here's the class painting the sidewalk rainbow now too. Cool, over at Skylar's school. Yeah, I can see them. That's why I pulled over. <laughs> yeah, straight in front. They're painting it to a rainbow. Isn't that cool? Just like my nails. Yeah. <laughs> I tell daddy this. That, um, I was still good at mommy. I oh, she wanted to open the sparkly pink lipstick, and I opened Just it. Just a sparkly pink, pink nail polish. Mm -hmm. I couldn't open it, and yeah. when he's like, "How come you didn't use the the sparkly pink?" and I was like, "I could not open that at all," which I really, honestly, could not open it. And then she picks it up, opens it first try, no problem. Mm -hmm. This is why she's always beating me at arm wrestling competitions. Mm -hmm. She's a beast. <laughs> I ended up getting the kids because I looked out the door and Curtis wasn't gone yet. And I was like, oh, I'll show him. I'll go get the kids. Way to show me. I got to stay home and chill. <laughs> you didn't chill. I loaded the trailer. Yeah, <laughs> it actually worked out better. I should have been the one going to get them anyways. We have this little um, game every day where she says at 20 after, go get the kids. And I'm no, like, okay, I, say I will. At 111, my alarm goes off. And I say, okay, you got 10 minutes. And then at 121, my second alarm goes off. And I'm like, okay, you got to go. And then he's like, oh, I got to use the bathroom. And he'll go pee. And, and then, then I say, I go at, t at 125 every day. No. <laughs> to me, if you're not in the vehicle and driving out at 123, everyone's late. The kids are abandoned and they're calling the police. That hasn't <laughs> happened yet. And I have not, I have not gone at 123 yet. At I 123, go, if I'm at the door and you're like, okay, see ya. I go out and I find something to do in the yard for two minutes. Cause I'm like, I don't oh, need to be That's there what you minutes. did today. <laughs> oh, I, if I get there and the buses are already lined up, I'm too late. I'm like running, but can't get there in time. I, I need to be there before the buses are there. I need to be there and be ready to put my mask on and run out before the buses have even picked their parking space because they have to park in a row and everything. She wants just, me to get on her anxiety level and I have no interest. I have, that's one of my major fears for my kids not to get picked up at school. That's my, one of my all time biggest fears. It's my kids, man. And that's when your anxieties really get heightened is when you start popping out babies. Then it's like. And you started early, <laughs> so you didn't even have any time to. You're right. Yes, we did start early. I was 20. Yeah, I was 19 you, when you no, got No, 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 no. Yeah, when we got, okay, but when Skylar was born, I was 21 and you were still 20. I was an efficient machine. <laughs> On that note, my efficient bye. machine and I are going to say bye and we will see you guys. 
Well, well, you'll see us tomorrow, but our camping vlog will be up on Monday. Um, but don't worry, there'll be no interruptions to your plus size in Canada. I'm still gonna be here for you every single day. I hope you have a wonderful weekend. My friends in Ontario, congratulations, you're in freedom. Okay, love you guys. Bye. Bye. <laughs>